Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, Vice Chair of the Libertarian National Committee, and just kind of wanted to send a Happy New Year's to everybody. Uh, I know it's a couple more days before we ring the bell into New Year's, but I just wanted to kind of reflect, one, on 2018 and looking for the 2019. So again, 2018 was a good year for the Libertarian Party. We hit record numbers on fundraising. We had a lot of candidates running, a lot of them hitting high watermarks of votes, um, winning ballot access in states we haven't won before, in a year that was not third party friendly. So the fact that we showed growth when all the headwinds were against us, um, that is awesome. It shows that the, the Libertarian Party, um, with those that it's connecting with, it's staying connected. That it, we have a stickiness where we've grown. While some people want us to be growing faster, what really matters is the sustainability of your growth. As long as we keep growing in a, met in a way that I'd rather grow 1%, but that 1% sticks around, than grow 100% that turns into 2% the next year. So we are growing at a steady and sustainable path, which is a very positive outlook for us to continue showing um, impressive results. Um, now going forward, 2019, this is going to be much of a year sort of preparing for 2020. Um, while we will have candidates who are running in 2019 and races across the country, there won't be as many of them as there are in other years. So this is a time to spend time organizing your county chapter, uh, making sure that um, any that your meetings are smooth, that the activities that your county chapter is engaging in are ones that connect with the community, so that way the community is aware that the chapter exists, whether it's doing local food drives, volunteering at the local food kitchen, throwing a community barbecue, um, just these little things so that way the community gets to know your party chapter. Okay, on top of it, throwing sort of, you know, the educational lecture series, having your business meetings on top of all these things. Okay, on top of it is also just setting goals for your county and state chapters, whether they be to get a particular ballot initiative on the ballot and passed, whether they be to focus on certain candidates um, for this election or that election, whether they be to focus on lobbying for a piece of legislation to get it passed or to get it not passed, um, whether it is to build awareness by, again, getting engaged in your community, um, not just saying, hey, everybody come to our meetings, but actually doing things that take you to the people um, and just to show them that you are people, okay, that, that have n normal everyday hobbies, concerns, and, um, you know, uh, not always, not politics all the time, because you got to connect people, uh, connect with people on a sort of that emotional level, and then they'll, they'll open their minds to what you have to say. So uh, there's a lot that we can be focusing on, a lot of decisions we can make. Also just the general sort of data organizing. So going in, making sure you have all the emails of your membership, making sure you have them. So if you have access to the state CRM project, making sure that you have that data entered into there, um, collecting more data by using sort of all different methods, whether it's door knocking and collecting people's emails, um, doing uh, other types of sort of email marketing where you can capture sort of data about your community uh, for election time. So that way they can, because we don't always get first choice as far as what media allows us to be on mainstream media. But again, there, there are ways to bypass that. There are ways to get in touch with your local community, but it does require some uh, prior planning. It requires playing a longer game. Um, so you know, look to those things. There's every reason we can continue to grow, every reason that we have tools to make that growth faster. So there's every reason for optimism. Um, continue supporting National. Again, that money goes to a amazing staff that is providing amazing support to all 50 state parties. Um, it goes towards uh, continuing the CRM project so that way you guys can manage data better and change between data and ex data exchange between candidates can be better. It goes towards ballot access because some states did lose ballot access. So if you're a state that gained ballot access, those states were there for you when you needed it. We got to be there for them now that they need it. Um, it candidate support so that way you know when we have those sort of you know uh, low-hanging fruit candidates that are running in in races that can really really make a difference have impact whether by coming pretty close to winning or winning um, that we have the ability to support them um, so there's all sorts of great things that that money goes towards so continue supporting national continue supporting your state party so that way they can sort of keep building the infrastructure to organize your state um, keep supporting your county party so that way you your direct action can have the maximum effect but 
have a happy new year. My name is Alex Merced, Vice Chair of the Libertarian National Committee. Thank you so much for all the hard work that you do, all the passion you have for the message, for the platform, for what we're fighting for. And uh, I'll see you guys in 2019. Um, enjoy, relax. Uh, we'll, we'll start the new year on the new year.